Okay, folks, so I'm gonna sweep my chimney. I have a wood burning stove in my house. I live in a cold climate, and so I'm gonna sweep the chimney. It needs to be done uh, once or twice or a couple times a year. You can get a chimney fire if you get buildup in your chimney, the creosote. It's kind of just like that sooty ash stuff that kind of builds up on the inside walls of the chimney. You need to sweep it, and you use this, a brush like this to sweep it. And I am going to do that today. So I bought this stuff at Lowe's. These are just these fiberglass rods. Basically, it's really easy to do. You just, you know, hook up these little rods like this. You make them as long as you need to by screwing on another section. So all you do, you just get up on the roof and you pull the chimney cap off and then you just go like this. You just uh, sweep the chimney up and down with this. They make different sizes of pipe. This is a six inch um, brush for a six inch pipe. That's the kind of pipe that I have. And then there's an eight inch uh, brush. And then there's a four inch for say like a pellet stove. If you have a pellet stove, you likely have a four inch. Okay, so this is a section of the class C, I think it's called chimney pipe. It's an insulated chimney pipe, so it doesn't have the freeze and thaw and all the condensation. So like, you know, if, if it's cold outside and it's warm on the inside of the chimney, that will cause the creosote to build up on the inside walls of the, of the chimney or the, the pipe. And so this is an insulated pipe. Uh, the black stove pipe is on the inside of the house. That stuff is not insulated. I have double wall pipe in my house, but I'm gonna just sweep this section so I don't have to deal with it up there. I'm gonna sweep it over here on the lawn. So to sweep the chimney, you just do this as it's standing up. This just happens to be a section that I took off. So you just take the end of the, the brush like this. Just put the brush down in there. And just sweep it like that. So there it is, that's all there is to it. You just sweep it. So if you have a lot of creosote in your chimney, sometimes it'll come out kind of like chunky and you'll get a lot of it out. But my chimney is hot or something. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it never has been chunky. Maybe I'm just sweeping it a lot or something. So this is one job I really do not enjoy doing even though it's not hard to do. And the reason I don't like doing it is one, I have to get up on the roof, which I don't like doing, because I could fall off. And two, I don't like being on the roof because it ruins the shingles. And I have a couple of cracked shingles around here where I've had to sweep this. And three, it's really dirty. You gotta take the chimney cap off. And if you can see the creosote, it's kinda built up on the edge of here and on the, the inside of that cap right there. It's kind of built up a little bit. It's not too bad. So the cleaner the chimney, the better the fire burns and the better the draft you get. So it doesn't look too bad. So all you do is just stick the brush down in here like this. You just go like this. Same thing that I did out on the grass. Just kind of go like this, and then I come up a little bit, do the same thing. So I have no idea how much it would cost to have somebody do this for me, but I just don't see the reason that I need to pay somebody to do this. Granted, I could fall off the roof, and that wouldn't be worth the $100 it um, costs or whatever to have somebody come do this, but I'm fine doing it. I, I enjoy doing stuff like this. Don't like being on the roof, but such is life, you know? So I think I'm all the way down into the stove. I'm gonna put one last rod on there. I think this is about 20 feet of stick that I've got here. There it is. The last thing I'm gonna do is just kind of clean this out a little bit. That is dirty. So there it is. See all that stuff right there? That is the creosote stuff that if, if you leave it in your chimney, that stuff can catch on fire. So that's that. Hopefully there's one down there. So this is the top piece that I want. I want the cap on there so birds 
don't come down. I guess birds could just fly down. And I actually have had a bird in my wood stove before. You just put the cap on and then you just screw this piece onto that length and and that's it. So now I'm gonna go inside and look and see in the wood stove and see how much ash or soot that I swept out of there. So I really should have some kind of safety gear on, right? PPE for ladders or something. So there's the ash in there. You can see there's a fair amount, maybe like, I don't know but it's just that black stuff that was there, and that's it. So that is pretty well all it takes to sweep the chimney. Now I just need to put this little piece back. I, I did pull this uh, ceramic piece forward so I could get the ash to fall forward a little bit. There, so that project is complete. Anyways, that's it for now. Appreciate you guys, thanks for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one.